Welcome to this fabric film tutorial. Today we are going to sew these pants for boys. They are easy to sew and very comfortable to wear with an elasticized waistband. To make these pants we'll need the Burtostyle 9354 pattern, a marking pen, pins, scissors, a piece of elastic, two snap fasteners, two eyelets, a piece of cord, some interfacing, fabric, and assorted thread. To start, I place the pieces of the pattern on the wrong side of the fabric, respecting the grain line. And I cut them out. I cut the pocket pouches in a thinner fabric than the main fabric. I'm going to interface the center front of the belt. To do this, I first transfer the pattern of this piece. I cut this rectangle in interfacing. Then I attach it with a hot iron without steam. Then I transfer the notches of the pattern pieces before removing them from the fabric. First, I'm going to sew the back pants pockets. After having served the top edge, I pressed the allowance to the wrong side and I stitched the hem. Then I pressed the remaining allowances to the wrong side. I pinned the pockets to the back of the pants, matching the markings, and I top stitch with two lines, one close to the edge and one 7mm from the edge. Now I'm going to sew the hip yoke pockets. I lay each pocket piece on the pants front, right sides together, and I stitch the pocket opening. I turn the pockets to the inside and I press. Then I top stitch close to the edge. I lay the hip yoke piece on the pocket piece right sides together and I'm going to pin the pockets contour. I stitch, then I serge the edge. Next, I lay the pants front onto the back, right side spacing, and I stitch up the sides, then serge the seam allowances. Now I'm going to sew the side leg pocket. I folded and baste the inverted pleat, and I press. After having serge the top of the pocket, I press the hem to the wrong side, and I stitch. Then I press the seam allowances to the wrong side. I place the pocket on the right leg side on the notches and I stitch. Now I fold the flap right side inside and I stitch these edges together. I clip the corners on an angle and turn it right side out. And I press. I search the top edge, I stitch it above the pocket and press it down. I can now insert the snaps at the markings. The female part will be on the flap and the male part will be on the pocket. Now I fold the legs in half, right side inside, and I'm going to stitch the inner leg seam, then serge the edge. I will turn one leg right side out, and I will put it into the second leg so that the right sides are facing. I pin the crotch, matching the inner leg seams. And I stitch, ending the stitching at the notch. Then I search the edges of the crotch and of the self-facing. Now I press the self-facing toward the left front. Then I'm going to top stitch the front pants according to the markings with two lines, catching the self-facing. I've searched the pants bottom, now I fold it onto the wrong side 
and I stitch. Next step, the waistband. First, I insert two eyelets on the interface part of the front, respecting the notches. I fold the waistband in half, right side inside, and I stitch the center back, then I press the seam open. Now I fold the waistband lengthwise, wrong sides facing, and I press. I pin the waistband to the upper edge of the pants, matching centers, and I stitch, leaving the center front part open. I cut a piece of elastic, which length depends on the chosen size, and I pass the elastic in the waistband tunnel using a safety pin. I pin the ends of the elastic over the pocket openings, then I stitch the elastic ends in place. And I can finish stitching the waistband to the pants. Now I can insert the edge and press it down. To finish, I run the cord through a first eyelet and out the second one. And our pants are finished. Enjoy your sewing and thanks for watching.